Hey everyone, Brian from Bearball Traders here, Wednesday, October 9th. It's uh, evening, I'm in Ontario traveling, visiting with some family for the rest of the week, but thought I'd just hop on here, do a quick midweek recap, see where things were today. You can see here we had a pretty, pretty good day for the bulls overall. Some news came out, I guess, that Chinese were coming to make a deal. The deal's on again, and so the market rallied. And then after the market closed today, then Chinese came out and said, eh, maybe not, uh, we're not here to make a deal. So it's just, to me, it's a little ridiculous. I just, I don't understand how many times they have to say the deal's on and we get a rally and then, and then we find out that no, it's not on. I mean, I'd love to meet some of these people that are buying into this because I've got a bridge I'd like to sell them. But uh, anyway... Um, sounds like uh, the deals, or at least the Chinese, may be going back early. Who who knows? But uh, yeah. But overall, we had a good day today. Yeah, pre or the aftermarket's uh, down a bit. It's a pretty volatile session after hours. But you can see here, still we're kind of leaning a little bit to the downside here with the stocks. More stocks below the 200. A lot of more stocks below the 50. New highs don't really look that great compared to new lows. So. That's the market we're looking at right now. Let's take a look at some of the indexes here. You can see here the the 10 year yield is starting actually to hook back up again. We had a higher low on this and uh, maybe we're uh, going to be pushing back higher again on the yield. Although I'm surprised that, you know, Powell did say did say they were probably, you know, he was sounding pretty dovish and then of course he came out and made a formal announcement that they're expanding their balance sheet and we've been pointing that one out already that their balance sheet has been already expanding over the last couple of weeks and it's going to keep expanding according to according to Powell they're just going to keep uh, blowing up that uh, balance sheet again uh, 2021 I think was the date they, you know they were going to extend this out too that's crazy but uh, yeah anyway Keep flooding the system with money. Let's take a look here at, we'll skip over the weeklies uh, since we're only halfway through the week. You can see here, I think this is going to be the tail of the tape for a lot of these. You know, it was an up day today after these uh, Monday, Tuesday down days, but really a pretty narrow trading range. Not great volume. RSI does tend to be hooking up a little bit here, but you know, we're kind of narrowing into a trading range. Uh, I think we're going to see pretty much, except for the IWM, the IWM did not trade very well. Yes, it was up, but you know you can see where it finished. Finished well off the high of the day. Holofill candle here, volume really you know, lethargic. So small caps, even on a good day, aren't performing all that well. And small caps quite often sort of are the tail of the tape. Again, here you can say same as the same as the Dow. We're kind of getting narrowing into a into a pendant here. Uh, quite often, these pendants resolve and move one way or another, either up or down. I can't really call this be up or down because usually, if it's a pendant coming out of an an uptrend and then you get a pendant, quite often it'll resolve in the same direction. Um, but with this choppy market that we've had since uh, August, it's really Hard to say whether it actually will break, and if it does, which direction it'll break in. We'll just have to wait and see. Same comments on the SPY. You know, again, narrowing trading range. Well off the highs of the day, but still a, a better, better day than Monday, Tuesday. Dollar again, sort of a narrow trading day, really low volume day today. So not not really sure where that's going to either. It just seems to be maybe stuck in this range here. VIX off a little bit today, obviously because of the strong markets. Let's take a quick look at the uh, ETFs. Look at some of the groups. Uh, you can see here again, sort of an indecision day. Uh, it's pretty. Although the volume was good on that, um, volume picking up on the materials sector, um, but a bit of an indecision candle there, RSI hooking up on that. 
again indecision day on the uh, on the on the energy stocks, but just a horrendous chart here. Maybe, maybe, maybe putting in another bottom here. We've got a bottom here, bottom here, bottom here. Gives you something to trade against uh, if it starts to find some footing here. XLF popped up, but then really sold off. Kind of surprising given the fact that the yields are coming back up and usually a uh, rising yield curve is good for uh, for the banks, but this one, but the banks did not perform that well today. Uh, technology again, kind of narrowing into a trading range. We'll see which way that breaks. Consumer staples, same comment, although volume really really small. Uh, RSI not really indicating anything there. Yeah, we could just be you know narrowing into a pretty pretty defined range here. Um, we we'll just have to watch for a break um, of these one way or another if they do break. Again, healthcare, sort of the same comment, really low volume, narrow trading range, indecision candle, consumer discretionary, ditto, and we're back to materials. So, yeah, the only trade I'm in right now is the nugget trade, and I stuck with that one today. Uh, we had a down day, but uh, after the market closed today, it gave back, it gained back everything, almost everything it lost. So it uh, was back over 33 in the aftermarket. So we'll see if that holds in the morning. I am hoping that this will consolidate a bit, maybe more, and then uh, break out, try to get to the 50 moving average, and then maybe even get back up to 37 and a half. But uh, first target is in this 35 range. I'll be setting some up to sell if we can get uh, if we can get up to close to 35. Probably put it just under. So that's it. Um, this is uh, my book on Amazon, How to Swing Trade. If you haven't checked it out already, it's there to buy. And for everyone who's joining us in the room in the morning, I'll look forward to seeing everyone there. Pre-market show starts around nine o'clock Eastern, and uh, then we'll be trading the market open. So we'll maybe see everyone in the morning. Have a great rest of the evening, everybody. Bye for now.